When Bob and Ari McCauley moved into their 3,300 square foot home in 2014, it was perfect for raising their growing family. Then, after seeing an offer to participate in a university radon study, they began to wonder if their home had come with something else. Years ago, I'd heard that radon is a health hazard. I thought, well, let's participate and find out more about it and see if it's an issue in the house. It was. The Macaulay's radon reading was nearly twice what Health Canada considers acceptable. Theirs is one of more than 2,300 homes across southern Alberta tested for radon during a study by the University of Calgary. Researchers found one in eight homes in Calgary contained radon levels higher than Health Canada's acceptable limit of 200 becquerels per cubic metre. That's a measure of radioactivity. The levels range from 200 to an astonishing 3,441 becquerels per cubic metre. The relative lifetime risk of lung cancer increases with higher chronic exposure. But that's not all researchers found. Newer homes had over, uh, about 31.5% higher average radon compared to older homes. Homes built in the past 25 years tend to have more square footage and are taller, so they act like giant chimneys sucking in radon gas from the ground. They also tend to be more airtight to save energy, so the dangerous radon gas is trapped in the home. The Macaulay's spent $2,500 to fix the problem. A pipe drilled through the basement floor and a sealed fan system have done the trick. Uh, why not spend the money and, and make it basically radon free and eliminate the odds of uh, her and her little brother getting lung cancer? With 16% of lung cancers in Canada estimated to be associated to radon, the researcher's next frontier is developing tests to identify radon-specific cancers. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.